Savage W. MMA fan. Can I be honest with y'all real quick? I really didn't feel like re-recording this damn video, but the audio quality, for some reason, was just so fucking terrible. I mean, it was almost as terrible as these two fighters' careers been of late. But I just, I have to re-record it. I mean, everything else was perfect. So you got Jessica Evil Eye versus Joanne Calderwood. Look, y'all, straight to the point. These two fighters just can't fucking get right. They can't get right. They make a lot of mistakes. And they ended up on <laughs> real rough end of some bad decisions lately, you know? Uh, so I don't know. I, Jessica, Jessica Eyes, you know, in her last fight, she took a massive... Like, you ever heard of that program, Masterclass? She took a Masterclass ass-whooping by Cynthia Cavillo. Uh, Cynthia beat the hell out of Jessica. I, I mean, on the feet, up against the cage, on the ground. She just schooled the fuck out of Jessica. I. And shout out to Cynthia. You know, she got the bug. She caught the COVID. And uh, she's out of her fight, upcoming fight. But uh, hopefully she gets better and she comes back stronger. So you got Jessica I here. Just, just a walking mess into an octagon or anywhere she goes, right? And the thing about it, she's so fucking pathetic at times. It's like something in me wants to feel sorry for. Her. But then again, you know, if I, if I were to do some shit like that, it would just be in her like, oh, I don't need no big black man to feel sorry for me or feel anything for me. Why are you foot face, motherfucker? Then forget you then, you know? But you got some issues, okay? You got some real personal mental issues with yourself, and you need to work on them. Because you, you're sick, lady. You're sick. And then we got Joanne Calderwood. You know, Joanne Calderwood I'm trying to bounce back from a fight that she probably shouldn't have took. Because if she would just would have fucking waited for Valentina to come back. I know it was this argument. Well, she was a little desperate. Well, she desperately got her ass kicked and got arm barred by fucking Jennifer Maya. And Jennifer Maya gets the bag that she was supposed to get. So in the long run, who knows? Was it really worth it? I argue on the side of history that says it wasn't. But, you know. She's got to climb back up and, you know, and, 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 and try to become, you know, a legitimate contender again. And, you know, this fight is like little noise amongst veterans in the fucking UFC flyweight division. But uh, I, I I just think I'm going to go with Calderwood. You know, I don't know if I'm going to do an actual breakdown prediction on this fight because, again, I'm not very sympathetic with either fighter right now, but I'd rather see fucking Call of the Wood split Jessica I evil eyes apart than the other way around. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But as of uh, January 23rd of 2021, this fight is in the work, and I think it's going to fall under possibly the Connor McNuggets and the... Uh, Dustin Poirier fight if they're able to work that shit out. So anyway, we'll see what happens. This is Savage W, MMA fan, and I'm out.